Okay, this is the newest thing I got in the mail. This is a gallery airbrush. Uh, I'm gonna start with this actually. This is a sticker that holds it. It is placed only on the uh, single single place and still you cannot remove it which saves the planet that we will otherwise annihilate sooner or later. Anyhow, now inside this is the cover, cool one. Inside there is a thorough description of the parts. As you can see, it's in color, bluish, violet. Uh, I'm not sure that the camera gives it justification, but it's very nice. It is a sticker. This usually is on a single piece of paper. This is an airbrush made in China, so this is an improvement. Now, let's get back to the box. This is a uh, gravity feet airbrush, blah, blah, blah. And the description is extra wide, white, medium, fine, extreme detail. So this is something in between medium and fine. I'm going to show you a bit later. This I'm going to leave for later too. Now let's take a look at this. This is an instruction from a Chinese airbrush and this is uh, one of the very few that comes in English straight out of the box. Now this is a clear indication that the gallery are shooting for the stars at the Western Hemisphere and the Western clientele with a thorough description of everything that a beginner might need to know. Perfect spraying effect, which you'll see in a bit. Actually, you won't see a perfect spraying effect, but this is mostly due to weather conditions. I will explain later how to switch color, how to clean it. Uh, I'm guessing they will offer this too. Everything, everything that we've discussed in my previous uh, airbrush videos with few differences. For example, the nozzle. The nozzle is something that has uh, threads which uh, eventually disrupt the straight flow of the air which uh, creates a allegedly better pattern uh, making turbulence in the air which vortex generators on plane wings and stabilizers do. This is of course allegedly. Now, uh, I'm going to show you what's in the box. O-rings, uh, two flexible ones, those are of the stiff plastic, additional nozzle, needle, uh, those two here now I already did some testing with that so this cap that you see was uh, on the business end of the airbrush quick release uh, half of it actually the airbrush two paint cups and the lube the lube is thickish in appearance it doesn't look like the Mia lube but I guess that will do pretty much the same job. Now, I wanted to show you something else here. This here, I looked at it from various angles. Unfortunately, this to me looks like printed, not like actual spray pattern of the airbrush. Now, I don't know, I am speculating here, but turned it at the light, I tried to rub it, and still this looks like a fine print, not like a piece of paper over which they tested the airbrush. Hopefully I'm wrong. And you can read that, I'm going to give you a moment here. This is very nice from their end. Especially if the product indeed has an issue, no need to return it. 
just contact us to confirm the problem and we will arrange a reshipment for you. Ambitious. This Outlook? Really? Gallery Lab? You gotta make a site of your own, guys. Anyhow, now this is what we have in the box. Uh, I mentioned the two paint cups. Actually, there are three. Why? Because this by itself is pretty much enough to put some paint. There is a stopper here. Uh, what I wanted to add, which I didn't like, and I wrote them an email about this, is that when I first got the, the airbrush, upon pulling the trigger, no movement of the needle whatsoever. And that eventually happened because somebody really tested it. I'm guessing not here though. Somebody really tested it and never, never cleaned it properly. Never cleaned it properly and the needle got stuck there, which I cleaned. However, for a novice airbrush user, this might be an issue. And uh, there are solutions. You just got to write in a forum about airbrushing and ask. Uh, you got to remove the, the needle, clean it, eventually polish it, which is not a big deal, especially if you're working with Chinese airbrushes. You uh, really will end up at some point polishing the needle. Uh, because their precision, their working precision is not the best. It's not a Japanese nor a German airbrush. This is a Chinese one and it might be almost there like 90%, but it's not 100% there. So let's see what I did with the testing and I'll give you my conclusion about this one. By the way, I will be looking at the trigger option, the pistol grip one as well, which is, uh, those airbrushes are one of my favorites actually. But let's see what this thing can do. While well, testing it, a few things needs to be mentioned here. First, black paint, this is Mr. Hobby Aqua series, is not the easiest uh, of options when it comes down to the thin lines. Also, outside air temperature of this day, specifically currently, is 32 degrees Celsius, which is relatively hot and with dry air. Quite unusual because I live by the sea mostly and this is moist environment. Thirdly and most importantly, what you see here is the airbrush out of the box. I mentioned that because, as I mentioned before, the needle was stuck when I got it. Um, I decided to write it that way because I knew perfectly well how to make it work but that might not be the case for a novice that might uh, buy this thing. First, I would never paint fine lines in 32 degrees outside temperature. And second, uh, I would clean or even polish my needle if needed, then loop everything with preferably Tamiya Blue loop before I start. Uh, this is just, uh, you know, preparing your rifle for uh, combat. As you saw in this case here I have gallery on loop but I have no actual experience with that so uh, I stay aside. Besides the, it beats the idea of trying it out of the box. Now all this combined leads to noise around the spray lines. Not only that but as you can see there are disruptions in the pattern which is not good. If you do another pass over the line, this will be eventually solved. However, if you are painting an expensive, super detailed model that you paid hundreds of dollars for, uh, you have only one or two tries at best and the risk is uh, significant. So you better not play with fire, if you ask me. As you can see, the best execution of this airbrush will be with uh, primer, 
varnish layers or uh, single tone camouflages or eventually highly diluted shadows, pre-shading, post-shading, eventually of course stuff like that. This will be its best fit. For hand painted camouflage uh, I will think twice before I try and go with this one. You can clearly see on my testing that modeling on Luftwaffe planes and 48 scale is doable. However, you gotta prep your paint seriously. The noise, however, will not be visible if you paint dark gray over light blue or light green over light blue, like for example on Focke Wolf 190 or uh, Messerschmitt 109. Here, black over white is more vivid and scary looking, but in the end, is acceptable. If you cover it with uh, varnish weathering, it won't be uh, vivid as it is here. As far as my experience goes, Chinese made airbrushes are generally all like that. Even though gallery airbrush is a step above most of them, it is still at least in my opinion, not close enough to Iwata or Hargarin Steenbeck. Okay, so you saw what happened there. Uh, this is mostly due to the outside temperature, the black paint, and of course the fine-tuning of this guy here. This is a very good starter airbrush. It is a good one for uh, basic layers, varnish, especially primer. You don't want a thousand dollar Iwata to be wasted on a primer or uh, varnish, so this will do the job fine. It can do mottling, it can do fine lines with a lot of preparation of the paint and consideration of the weathering conditions. Uh, now, I'm sorry, weather conditions, not weathering conditions, but both weathering and, and weather conditions. Um, what I can tell you, this is a, a good airbrush. It is, uh, it has justification of its price in terms of quality. But if you really want to go nuts and have the best gun out there, uh, you gotta pay three times more uh, above this. I don't know. This is at least my opinion. Uh, Infinity or. Uh, at least Iwata HPC Plus is what you need for a uh, finest work there. Although uh, HPC is not the finest airbrush uh, that Iwata do, like their custom micron, um, it is still better than this one. It uh, they might look the same, but in order to make this spray like Iwata, you gotta work on it a bit. So. Not a bad airbrush, it's definitely worth the money. Uh, I will put a link in the description down below if you want to buy one. And uh, thank you for watching.